everyone and welcome to my channel so in this video we are going to be looking at um, the concept of our digit ex expansion in our previous video we started the digit processes and we've seen our digit uh, factorization so we're seeing expansion now in this and then subsequently we're going to be looking at our digit fractions okay so we said that fa factorization has to do with resolving an algebraic expression into, its, uh, a, into a product of its factors. And we gave examples, for instance, 2wy, for instance. Okay, it's a very simple example. So from here, you can easily see that, remember what we're doing is to bring out the common factor of the monomials involved. So in this case, you have W here and W here. So you bring it out. And so by the time you divide here by W, you have A. Then you bring down your sign. And by the time you divide here, you will have 2Y left. Okay, so now note, however, that the reason why you bring down this sign is because you're dividing with a positive uh, common factor. So now, what that means is that if I have another example, say, um, let's put it this way, um, minus 2x, uh, say, plus um, 4y, for instance, okay? So, what's going to be the common factor here? Yeah, of course, whether this is plus or minus, it doesn't really matter. So, but here now, you can see there is 2 here and there is 2 here. So I can choose to bring out only two, but that will be an incomplete factorization because minus sign is in front of the two and minus sign can divide through the two monomials. So minus two can divide here and minus two can divide here. So in that case, I'll bring out negative two. And so if I open my bracket now, I'm going to have negative two X all over negative two. So minus will cancel minus, 2 will cancel 2. So we have only x left. Now see where it is very important now. By the time it acts on this one, by the time negative 2 acts on this, it will change this plus sign to minus. Okay, so what that means is that I will have 4y. Remember, it is positive. Divided by minus 2. And so... 4 will be divided by 2 to give you 2, and then y will be left. But then what happens to the sign? Okay, and that brings us to the sign I gave. Uh, that's multiplication of minus and plus and division of minus and plus that I gave in the previous video. Okay, so which I'm going to start with. So we said there that if you have plus times plus, that it is equal to plus. So when the same sign multiply, they give you plus. When the same sign divide, they give you plus also. So minus over minus is also plus. Now, but when opposite signs multiply or divide, they give you minus. So if I have plus times minus, this one is minus, and they also minus times plus is also what minus and the same applies here if i have plus divided by minus that's going to give me minus and minus divided by plus is also what minus so and that is what will happen here now plus divided by minus is going to give us what minus sign and then we have 2y left okay so this is the factorization for example two here okay so i had to bring up these examples as reviews to what we did in the previous lesson and then we go into the new lesson so when you factorize a minus value it's going to affect whatever sign is contained inside of the algebraic expression and the same applies to when you're doing expansion and so that's what we are going to begin with in today's lesson all right, so maybe I should leave this here. So quickly, what does it now mean to expand? So expansion of algebraic expressions is just a reverse. 
of uh, algebraic uh, factorization. So you have factored this into this particular form. So to expand is to get back what you had originally before you factorize. And how do you do expansion? You just to open up the bracket. So you can either call it expansion or opening of the bracket. So by the time you open your bracket, now it follows a particular approach. And what is that approach? If I have A into, okay, so no matter the number of terms in your bracket, so by the time you want to expand this, what you are saying is that the value outside of the bracket should multiply every single thing inside the bracket. Now, notice that, of course, this is our case A. There is another case under expansion that I'm going to show us. So notice that whatever you have here must multiply through everything here. So this is going to multiply this multiply this and also multiply this. So this is going to give us ax plus a times y, ay plus a times z, az. And uh, now another thing that is important is the sign. Whatever is the sign of what you have outside here must also multiply through with it. Okay, so let's look at examples now. Okay, so example one. Assume we have something like a into the bracket of b plus 5, right? So what is that going to be? Very simple, right? Okay, so your a will multiply b to give you a b, and a will also multiply 5 to give us what? 5a. Remember, you bring down your minor, uh, sorry, your plus sign, because your a here is positive. Now, what if your example is something of this nature? minus 3, or let me use 2 there, then you now have 3m minus 4. Okay, so what is this going to be? Very beautiful, right? Okay, so the same thing. Your, now, the mistake most of the students will make is to use only 2 to multiply this. You know, they multiply, they just write something of this nature, 2 times this, 6m, then 2 times this, minus 8. This is completely what? wrong okay so what are you supposed to do you are going to carry the two together with each sign the two here is negative so the two will go together with the sign into the bracket so your negative two will multiply uh, 3m to give us negative 6m and then negative two will multiply negative four remember what we said here negative multiply negative so minus times minus will be plus, and then 2 times 4 will be what? A. And this is your correct answer. Okay, meanwhile, note that I can also write this solution in a different form. I can choose, since this is negative, let the positive one come first. And so that's going to be 8 minus 6m. Now, of course, you know that once the number comes first, there is no point putting the sign, whether positive, yes, yeah, when it's positive, but when it's minus, you must put it. But if it is positive, you can just leave it like that, except it's a directed number. All right, so that's for example three, uh, two. So let's look at the next one. So assume you have something like, uh, what happens here now? So please also note the simple mistakes students can make here. About two things someone can do. One is what I just showed you here. Somebody can choose to do this as 10 minus, then 3 multiply 5, 15, 3 multiply minus 2x, minus 6x. This is completely what? Wrong. Okay, so I'm going to do a video to show some of these common errors or mistakes by students. All right, and then another person can choose to say, okay, this is 10 minus 3, and then we'll write 7 times 5 minus 2x then open the bracket. This is also what? Wrong. So why is it so? Because ordering by the order of operations, you have board mass. Okay, so and you know in board mass, your bracket comes first before subtraction. So you can't be doing subtraction. I'm talking about this one now. So you can't be doing subtraction before opening of brackets. And then while in this case, the person made the mistake I talked about here, carrying your three into the bracket and leaving the negative sign, you know, alone. So what were you supposed to do? 
you follow the board mass, do bracket first. That means I'll bring my pen here. Then I am now in this other case, I will carry the whole of negative three to multiply into the bracket. So minus three times five will rightly give me minus 15. But where it will now differ with this is that minus three times minus two X will now be plus six X. Okay, so you see the difference between the mistakes, okay? So now we are now going to have that this is now, uh, of course, this minus this will be minus five and then plus six X. So like I said, you can actually stop here, but then you know mathematically it's always good to let the positive come first. So I can rearrange this by writing 6x minus 5. And that is the solution to this. Example 4. Right. So here you have two brackets. Nothing serious. All you need to do is open the two brackets and then simplify. Simplify is to add common factors or common terms. Sorry. So this is going to be. So I will open the first bracket, which is 3 times 3x, three, uh, times x. that is 3x, and then 3 times 2, which is 6. And so here, 5 times x will give me 5x, and 5 times 1 will give me plus 5, of course, right? So here I will now simplify. So 3x plus 5x will give me what? 8x, and then 6 plus 5 will give me what? 11. There's no point in arranging here. Both of them are positive. Okay, now, suppose you have an example of this form. Okay, so that's the second case. Remember I said this is the first case where you just have a number in front of a bracket. All you need to do, bring in the number into the bracket. And that's the examples that we've done here. And then a number or alphabet. It could be a number, it could be an alphabet. Now, but here now you have two brackets. You recall that during our factorization, we saw that some of the things we factorized now formed two brackets. So how do you get the expansion? Very simple. There are two ways to go about it. Two of those ways are actually one and the same. They're just two different approaches. So what do you do? Now, you can choose to um, expand this this way. Take the first number of course that's what should happen the first value here should multiply the whole of the second bracket so i'll pick x and then it will multiply y minus eight and then i'll pick plus three together with the sign so plus three will do the same it will multiply y minus eight recall that this is just like i said the reverse of factorization if you recall, there are some places we get to or steps we get to under factorization, we will now have something like this, where we'll now bring out the common term and then add these other ones outside. So here, what do we do? Now, immediately you have done this, it's just to now open up the two brackets. It will now be of this form, and so it's easy to fill it up. So here we now have x times y, which is xy, times eight, uh, minus 8, which will give us minus 8x. Then plus 3 times y will give us 3y, and plus 3 times minus 8 will be minus. That's plus times minus will be minus, and then 3 times 8 will give us 24. And so from here, are they like terms? No. So it's actually okay to stop here. So there are no like terms, and there's no point rearranging, except if as an objective exam, you can rearrange depending on what the options are. Right, and then an example that looks like this, if we have 4 minus 2x into the bracket of x plus 2. So a shorter approach to this is to do this same writing of this at once without having to write it. But it doesn't really matter. So what I mean here is that I can just say 4 multiply into this. It will give me 4 times x is 4x and 4 times 2 is 8, right? So uh, that means I'm just jumping only one step. So, but for clarity's sake, you can always do that. And then I'll now come over here, minus 2. Remember, this will go together with this minus sign. So minus 2 times, uh, minus 2x times x will give me minus 2x squared. 
and then minus 2x times 2 will now give me minus 4x. Right, so that's just it. So only this step was missing. So meaning I can actually write that here 4 will open on this bracket and minus 2 will open on the same bracket. So it's just that step. So, but if you can always do that, all you need to do is 4 should go to x and also come to 2. And then this one should do the same, come to y, uh, x and also come to 2. So once you do that, you are done. Okay, so, and that is going to give us, of course, the next thing is to um, collect like terms. So we have 4x, we have minus 4x. So two of them will go away, right? So because they are equal but opposite signs, so they can cancel out. And then here I just have 8 minus 2x squared. And that is the solution. Okay, so now um, as an exercise, so you will do this last one for me. A plus B minus C minus D. Just a very simple question. Okay. And that is where we end it for this video. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, we'll see you in our next class. Bye.